We're looking at uh, artichokes right now. There's a whole uh, garden of artichokes that this uh, is planted. And um, the thing with artichokes is they make a really nice plant. They're really good for uh, wet environments. They thrive in uh, moist, uh, wet atmospheres uh, like uh, ocean areas or uh, semi-damp, non-extremely hot areas. They um, the artichoke is a giant thistle and it has really nice um, flower heads and um, you can see they're purplish. And uh, it's basically a domesticated thistle um, without the spines and it's the same family. It's got a um, huge mustard leaf type of shape, um, jagged uh, lightning bolt design leaves. This is a really nice huge plant. It's probably over five years old, three or four years old because of the, um, you can see the many heads. There's one, two, three, four heads. You can harvest this right now or whenever they decide to harvest. The um, artichoke uh, grows um, year after year after year so by cutting it back it uh, increases its um, harvest ability and um, it, it will keep growing for many 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 years and this is just a really nice big bushy plant here these people have done a really nice little um, sculptural garden type of set thing here I'll show you their garden I think it's a you can see how they uh, put in this wood these wood um, borders and uh, stonework and different things I think it's the uh, people who is their business to uh, be able to do masonry work you can see that um, that this may or may not have already been here, but this is an excellent um, flower bed and a, a proper um, for long term. If you own your house or something, this is this is an aesthetic garden and um, could easily be entered into a um, you know a, a showing of your garden or um, you know magazine type of a display if you're interested in displaying your gardens. Um, I put up this redwood fence here and um, you can see the uh, wiring and different things. It's going to keep out dogs and kids um, that might run around. This isn't um, an animal fence you know for something that's going to eat your food. It's just to keep out the passerbys and different people that might be affecting your garden. You can see that it goes all the way back and it's just got really nice built tables and then just covered in um, these rocks and the rocks are going to keep down certain types of uh, insects and flying insects that like to land because a lot of uh, larvae and um, flying insects do not um, land and um, lay their eggs in rocky sandy areas so um, it would be helpful if they also um, poured sand you know around the bases of the plants will keep the snails um, they won't keep snails out but it'll keep um, flying insects that like to they lay their eggs at the bases of your plants so you can see that this just goes back and you have flowering beds it's hard to see from here but but um, they're really nice and there's like seven um, flowering beds and they're all raised on cinder blocks so you can buy cinder blocks semi cheap and um, you put a lot of money and time into building everything else so you know this is a stable environment like I said um, this could be like broccolina or broccoli right here. I'm not sure what that is. It's really nice, really nice green stuff. So, um, also you can see that this is a, um, this thing here is called a trellis. And um, it's typical, looks almost like a soccer net type of thing. And um, your cucumbers and um, different vining plants can um, easily grow up it. And uh, like I said, I, I don't actually know what they've got growing there, but it, uh, the green mesh thing is an excellent way to train your plants. Um, you'll want to stabilize it more than this 
plastic thing here I wouldn't recommend buying um, this item if it's something that they sell at a garden center you're probably it's just a scam but um, having a mesh coming off of your house or some stable environment um, they should uh, like this fence is a stable environment this will withhold your plants and um, can easily trellis um, you could cover this whole fence no problem with uh, one Convalacea bindweed or a, a cucumber would uh, cover this whole plant really nice or nastardariums um, any of the vining plants all right um, let me see they got some trees and different things they, this people have a huge garden and in the back I can see farther back is uh, um, um, Oh, I can't even think rhubarb and um, we just have you know huge gardening communities out here so people really get into it we have a really small limited time season in the wet ocean areas so to know different gardens that you can grow is important for your season in your area that's not you know all the normal things that someone else might grow is not going to be able to grow in your yard or harvest because you don't have enough sun so Hope you're aspiring to get your thumbs green. Peace.